explain. This is a, you probably realise that the, uh, our building is divided into the hot side, the other side of the door, and this side of the cool side. So those tankies are what are in the tank. And then we've got two fermenters, and we've got space to add uh, three, four, and five inch thick. And what we do is, once we boil, we boil for an hour, which is the main hops, both us here, shut down the heater, add the second, the aroma hops, um, which are adding more for hoppiness than any sort of bittery. Uh, we don't want them to be sort of stewed long, so they're just going for a, uh, a light Then leave it to settle down, and then we come through the big plate cooler into one of these tanks. We're going to number two today. And the first thing that Al's going to do though is going to add a little bit of warm, uh, unfermented extract to the yeast. And this is the yeast in here. And uh, I'm not sure you've ever seen brewers' yeast. There are thousands of different strains of yeast. This is the one we use. If you want to have a look at it, it doesn't look. It's um, fungus. Uh, you, you could say that we're... Uh, right, for every pound of yeast we put in during the fermentation, we're going to get between sort of three and five pounds back. Uh, so you could, say we're, you could say we're a yeast farm in a way. We're producing yeast in the byproduct of this beer. We prefer to do it the other way around. Um, so the yeast is not actually ingredient, but it does leave a mark. It's quite sort of bitter in, in taste. It does leave a mark. Um, and we put the, uh, Al's gonna put some warm extract in here just to get the yeast going. And then it all goes into the pot here. And during the fermentation, we're gonna be obviously converting the sugar to alcohol. Uh, we're gonna be uh, driving up quite a lot of CO2, carbon dioxide. And so we need to be very careful once we come to clean the tanks uh, in a week or so's time, to make sure that nobody gets in there before the, the, the tank has been uh, cleared of, of any uh, heavy CO2 gas. We're also getting, as I said, a lot more yeast back, and then we're generating a certain amount of heat as well. And we can control the heat. We, these have got panels in the, in the walls of these tanks, and we can make sure the temperature doesn't go too high. If it doesn't want to go really much over as a 22 Celsius, otherwise you can get quite runny beer. And so we've got panels in there, I think the thermostat, and we can control, there's a panel that you can see on the board there, which means we can control the temperature quite well. And then, as importantly, once the, uh, the fermentation is through, we need to chill the brew right down. So fermentation generally takes three days, three, four days, and then we chill it down, and then very conveniently on day seven as a rule, sometimes a little bit longer if the yeast has been a little bit sluggish, we rack it off into cask, and that's what we did this morning. So we okay, line them up here. Know. You say three or four days, when do you know? The fermentation. Yeah. Well, it depends. I mean, sometimes uh, the malt might be more and more nourishing. <laughs> it's gone very hard. <laughs> it depends, really, doesn't it? And I mean, there's so many things. Tested, the, yeah, yeah, sorry? Uh, well, what we're doing is we're measuring the, the fermentation every day, okay. three times a day, and make sure that the sugar is, is all being, well, so much of the sugar has been fermented. Uh, home brewers, any home brewers here? Yeah. Anybody wants to own up? Yeah. Let me guess. When you used to do your home brewing, you fermented right out and add some more sugar, right? No, I didn't actually. Oh, oh okay. I never used to fit. <laughs> I just used to But how, how far did you ferment it down to? Do you remember? Uh, no, I can't. Yeah. But as a rule, I think most home brewers do ferment it right down and they add more sugar to make it even more alcoholic. I used to leave it about five days. <laughs> yeah. What, what commercial brewers do, they take it down to about, uh, they leave about, uh, uh, I suppose, uh, a certain amount of fermentable, and they take it down to about, uh, say, 20% of the original. Um, uh, well, mine was pretty strong, so. Yeah, yeah. And the point of this is that you want to, you want to do your, your primary fermentation in the tank here, but when we go into cask, we're going to want a secondary fermentation, so a lot of the yeast, although the beer is being chilled,